The next time you drive by the University of South Alabama campus, you might notice something unusual, a white bicycle with a tragic story behind it. News 5's Emily DeVoe takes a look. When you drive down University Boulevard, tucked between the trees is an all-white bicycle from its handles to its rims. A silent reminder of how Steve Perry lost his life. Cycling was everything to my dad. Um, it was something that he found a little bit later in life. He loved it. It was a time that he could think and reflect and get ready for his day. But one early morning ride in September was cut short. Steve was biking near South Alabama's campus when he was struck by a truck and rushed to the hospital. In the months that followed, he struggled to survive until last week when he passed away. It's a shame that he's gone, but he did, he was doing exactly what he loved in the place that he absolutely loved. In his place, the ghost bike stands chained against a tree, a sobering tradition to memorialize any cyclist who was struck and killed. Jeff DeQuatro, the president of Delta Bike Project, spoke with us from a business trip. We need to think about people on bikes as humans. There's someone's dad, someone's mom, son, daughter. There's hope that this tragedy might also be a catalyst to prevent another one from happening. We can encourage our city leaders and support um, the creation of, of trails and bike lanes and the installation of signage around the city that help legitimize cycling. And start a conversation that everyone who drives will think of Steve and the next cyclist they encounter on the road. In Mobile, Emily DeVoe, News 5. And no charges were ever filed against the driver.